hello, I am the Mile West Cowboy, back again with Ark Survival Evolved on Ragnarok. Now, um, I wouldn't ordinarily start um, recording in darkness, but um, I noticed that this level 47 boss chops um, was stuck. And it's a passive tame, so um, I actually have prime meat jerky on me, and I've never tamed one of these, so... Oh! <laughs> wow! Uh, that only took one. Uh, excellent. What's it have on it? Nothing. I'll um, stick raw meat on it though, just so it doesn't starve. Um, if I can get him over here, then I can actually light the fires I need. Boom. Snagged on something. Uh, possibly Mark Boland. I'll get him to follow as well. There we go. Stop. And you can stop. I'll, um, I just needed to get that out of the way, both of those out of the way, so I can light the fires. Um, because I am going on yet another metal gathering uh, mission. But this time I'll actually show you. Oh, actually, before I do that, um, I just need to get this prime meat jerky back in the freezer. Right in a preserving bin because yes I don't want it to go off and the longer I have it in my invent or in my possession the quicker it will go off so yeah get my um, cooked meat back in there uh, I could do with some more raw fish actually um, not quite at the moment. I'll do. I'll go and harvest a load of metal, and then um, when that's all cooking, and um, I've got charcoal on the go as well, um, that'll take some time. So what I'll do is I'll use that time to go and um, get some. F all fish for the Pelagornis. I'll stock up so I've got it in the preserving bin as well. Sound glitch. I understand what they're trying to do with that. They're trying to make it sound echoey, but it doesn't really work. Um, bit of a shame. I can't see any metal nodes. I think there may be some down the beach. I thought I saw a metal node at some point. But yes, this uh, might take a little while to get to find a proper metal node so I'll just um, bring you back when I do find one or if something attacks me right um, I haven't found a big deposit of uh, metal I've just found more of these um, river stones which I have been collecting Actually, there, I say that there's a big metal node right there. Um, so I was going to show you the difference between collecting a river stone by. Well, actually, I could still do that. Thinking about it, uh, I'll show you the difference between collecting a river stone with metal in it by using a metal pick, and then I'll show you the difference with harvesting it with a ankylosaur. So this is an untouched rock with um, metal in it and I'm using the metal pick which is the 
best way you can do it, harvest it by hand. And I got five metal. So, uh, let me just dump this stone and flint out of there. And put that in there. Uh, I've just noticed he's running out of food, so uh, we'll run out of food. But yeah, this is one swipe with the Ankylosaur. And I got 18 metal, and in the process, <laughs> killed a Pteranodon. Um, I was attacked by one of those flying thieves earlier, the Ichthyornis. And um, it took some narcotics off me and a couple of berries and that. But um, yeah, it got too close when the Ankylosaur was taking a swipe at a rock. And no more problem. Uh, so, uh, yes, unfortunately, you do have to keep dumping excess weight. But, uh, yeah, I think once I've harvested this node over here, um, that'll be a lot of uh, metal. So, here we go. 517. Not too shabby. So this is, this amount of metal is going to take a long time to um, actually cook properly. So um, I think it's time I make my way back to the refining forges and get that going. I see another metal node up there, but I don't have the carrying capacity now to actually make use of it. But um, yeah, this is will take a long time to get back, so um, I'll bring you back when I'm um, back at the forges. I've got the metal cooking, and we'll go do some fishing. Right, I'm back at the um, base, and as you can see, I've already loaded the metal into the um, unrefined metal into the refining forges. I'm just stocking it up with the um, wood so that um, it creates a nice amount of charcoal for me. Uh, I've also got two of these fires cooking away making um, more charcoal and I've got a load of wood um, still in the stego. So um, now as I um, have a little time on my hands I'm going to do the civilized thing and go fishing. I'm not going to be fishing with the um, fishing rod at the moment because I don't have the um, leech blood to use as a bait, but um, I can use, go spear fishing instead. That should be fine. But, um, I'll use the raft as well. Oh, that's a pretty good supply of oil over there. Might be worth investigating. It was about here. I'll just um, throw the Pegamax down on the ground here because um, I don't want it drowning. Swap over to the metal pick. And I can still move, which is a little surprising. But um, that's cool. I was hoping that um, that stone wouldn't weigh me down. It appears it didn't. But now I've got a load of oil, which will be very helpful. And for the time being, I'll just stick the oil in here. 
about 188. Right, and I'll just have one look around to see if I can see any fish. I can't. Right, that means I'm having to go into scarier waters, I think, in order to find the fish. There's a metal node over there. I can see some fish over there. There's a um, yeah, there's lots of rays and things. I don't know what's up with Pegamax. So, um, yeah, let's give this area a go. I think that leaves me close to the fish. Let's get some oxygen. I have in here. Yeah, I had 16 in here anyway. But, um, yeah, I can do with more. So I'll just uh, move a little further over here, this direction. And see what I can see. fish there doesn't seem to be many fish around. I do have some um, fish meat, so it's not an immediate problem, but um, it's not a great situation. to attack my raft. That's not good, that's not good. Yeah, it is. Hopefully I'm faster than the whale.
Uh, is it still following me? No, I think the water's too shallow for it. Uh, I'm using the Pteranodon instead of the Pelagornis because the Pteranodon is faster. And, um, the Pelagornis isn't as fast, so the NRG has a chance of a pretty good chance of catching me. And uh, they hit hard. So um, I don't want that to happen. So I've decided to improve my chances of uh, evading being hit by using the Pteranodon instead. Now there was um, some um, RGs hanging around here. There's RGs. Set the Tyranodon to passive, just in case. There's a lot of RGs, I just... Unfortunately, I haven't got a spy class, so it's going to be hard to be selective. what this one's level is. Whatever it is, it's attacking. Oh, wrong one. Oh, it's to get me. I might die here. Oh no, I think it's his health. Oh, it's Torpor's. Yep, there we go. Uh, there you go. Where's Terry? I hope nothing eats it while it's down here. Oh, I'm starving. I'll switch to the shotgun. I'll just whack all this meat in. And uh, some narcotics as well. Ah, it's a level 29, so even though it's not prime meat I'm using to tame, as long as the nothing attacks it and I don't accidentally damage it. It should be good. And I should have a reasonable RG to start off with. Because, um, yeah, this is going to take a while, so um, I'll bring you back just before hopefully it tames.
There we go. Uh, it's tamed out as a level 43 male. So that's um, pretty useful. Um, but now, as I don't have a saddle for it, I shall just fly this one home. Actually, thinking about it, do I have enough? Uh, no. No, I'll... I'll um, I was just thinking, I wonder if I've got enough to tame um, another RG. As this one was quite hassle free. But, um, yeah, I, I don't want to risk it. But, uh, yeah, I'll sh show you how quickly or what the difference between flying speed is. This is the Tyrannodon at full speed. And it, it, in theory, the RG should have been going full speed as well. So you can see there's. Uh, substantial difference in um, uh, speed but uh, I'll just quickly land and get some stamina actually I can set the RG on this uh, parasaur and you can see how devastating it can be oh, it took two hits Um, harvest the corpse while I'm here. There we go, I got a hundred and nine hide out of that. Which is not to be sniffed at. I also got a lot of um, meat as well. Um, quickly shuffle forward and hopefully I don't know it's not going to but um, yeah it's alright um, I will think of a suitable name for this one at some point I can't think of anything at the current moment in time and I'll get this trike out of the way Oh no, it's stuck on the stego. Lego, where's stego? There we go. And we're clear. Ah, right, um, the amount of dinos I've got now, I'm going to need a feeding trough. No two ways about it, I can't keep running around hand feeding everything. So um, let's quickly check the state of play with this. So we've got the 79 there. I'll quickly dump that in. And then, how many has this got? 81. Cool. And I'll put that in, and also I'll um, use this opportunity to repair my armour if I have the right ingredients I do, there we go I was very worried when um, that RG hit me a couple of times so I thought that um, my armour would just shatter completely and I'd die very quickly luckily that didn't happen the, um, the narcotic effect seemed to kick in just at the right time but yeah um, it hasn't necessarily been too long and I've already got a load of metal being cooked I've got a load of um, gunpowder or charcoal ready to make gunpowder I've had a fishing trip, it was only moderately successful, and I tamed an algae. So yeah, things are going pretty smoothly so far. Yes. Um, 
Today he's been rather successful. I'm guessing worried. <laughs> I, I'm due um, a big disappointment um, if Ark's anything to go by. It, it usually delivers one at some points when you're feeling um, like you've done well. Chops is now level 77. Uh, but yes, um, I am a Malwest Cowboy. Thanks for watching, and until next time, happy trails.